Well, people ask me about the, the bridge, how it works, and I'm not in my workshop right now to, to show the differences, but I can explain about this bridge. This bridge is very simple. Um, we have what we call camels, the camel basically holding uh, the string on the saddle. We have the wheels, those are six wheels that they have eccentric uh, posts inside. And we can reach from here with Allen key, not with that. So I'll take that tool, which is not designed for that, but just to show the idea. Um, you come from here and you reach into an Allen uh, screw and you can move the camel back and forth. So this bridge is adjustable to, to different strings. Then you go to each post. Let's say I go to the first string here and I can move by moving the post. You can see that the camel is going up, you see? The camel going up and the camel coming down. The good thing about it, when the camel go up, it set up the intonation um, while it's going up because the camel go backwards, go down. We have two type of bridge, the adjustable one, which is this one, and one that is set. It's set per, per um, set of strings. So to explain about the other one, I think I will do it uh, in my workshop. But uh, this one, as you can see, we go from here on Allen key, we're moving it back and forth. And by turning the wheel, I can create the different height for action, as you can see here. You can go high, you can go low. So all it takes is just to put the Allen key inside and run it. The Allen key place, it's right here. This is the place to the Allen key and a magnet hold it in place. See, now it won't fall because a magnet will hold, but the Allen key obviously is not here. So this is when you work on prototypes, um, you try to put uh, things together and there is always um, chaos. So this is about a bridge. I hope I was clear. If not, people can ask questions. I will be happy to answer.